Let's start with you. So there's a question here about um, the unit circle, the trigonometry. So no Riemann hypothesis at the moment. Um, I can say a few things about the Riemann hypothesis, but um, we'll, we'll start with trig. Um, and then there is a question about the fundamental term of calculus. So those are things I would like to start with. Who, who's good at trig in here already? I mean, maybe this will help. Actually, trig is pretty fresh. Really? Trig is what? I think trig is the most useful. Okay. Well, so let's see if we can just do this and get this out of the way really fast. I know a lot of people have trouble with um, the unit circle and trigonometry. And a lot of people think you have to memorize, and this goes for, like a lot of people may not realize, um, the unit circle, you don't have to memorize the unit circle. Or you might have seen the table of values, of exact values, like cosine of 30 degrees and all that stuff. And a lot of people think you have to memorize that. You don't. And I die every time a teacher or instructor says, you have to memorize this. You do not. <laughs> so this is actually, this is good. I, I like where this is going. So does anyone in here know how to figure out the exact values of trig functions without looking at the unit circle? Which way? As I did. Huh? No, 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 no. This no, is no. like just trig. So good to So good to um, tell. So good to you for the So the exact, the exact values of things, uh, we're talking about the cosine of 30. Welcome to our disaster that is math. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you escape with your life. Um, so the exact values by that, they mean like cosine, sines, and those trig functions of 30, 45, uh, what, 90, you know, 60, those types of things. Now, let me show you, um, let me just do this. You only have to remember a circle, an isosceles triangle, and an equilateral triangle. Let's all say equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Good job. You said it much better than I can. Okay, let's start with an isosceles triangle. Who knows what an isosceles triangle is? <coughs> Yay! What's an isosceles triangle? Two sides the same. Two sides are the same length. Oh my lord! Oh, this is this is actually going really well. All of a sudden. <laughs> Thank you, everyone that's still sitting here. Um, so if I have an isosceles triangle, these two sides are the same length. Um, which could be, you know, 59,000.2, but I like the number one better. One. And then if those are both one by the Pythagorean theorem, do we all know that? Yeah. yeah. You get that this is the square root of two. Bing. Yeah. Assumption. Assumption? You've assumed that angle is a good angle. Well, when I draw this little square thingy, now it's the right angle. <laughs> See, all you have to do is draw a little square thingy, and your your yeah. life is complete. It is well, yeah. Um, <laughs> so since the since this is an equilateral triangle, these are also both the same angle, right? And since uh, the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. And this is 90, these other two have to be 45. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yay! Now we can say what's the cosine of 45 degrees? Well, cosine, as was already semi mentioned, if you remember Soka Toa, or there's a way to remember that with hippies and stuff, but I won't get into that. Um, <laughs> um, cosine of 45 degrees, the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Yep. The adjacent to 45 to either one is one, and the hypotenuse is square root of two. So the cosine of 45 degrees is one over square root of two. You don't have to remember that. Although, I mean, after you do it enough times, you do. Was that good? Yes. And so you also have to remember the equilateral triangle. Say it again. Equilateral triangle. Try. <laughs> no, no, I, I appreciate that. Um, so if you start with an equilateral triangle, and what does that mean? It's all sides are the same. All sides are the same, or equal lateral. Yes. So again, you can go with 52,005.6. 
for each side, but I like the number one better. Okay, now, when you're dealing with trigonometry, you want right triangles, you want to be able to draw this little square thingy. <laughs> um, and so if you make, cut that triangle in half, you've made a right triangle, that is you have a 90 degree angle, since, and, and uh, so in the equilateral triangle, all the angles are the same, right? Since they have to add up to 180, they're all 60 degrees. Everyone say, yay! yay. Good one. Whoa, just my mind is wrong, my fluff. Oh my Lord. So these are all 60 degrees. And since I've cut this in half, this little guy right there is 30 degrees. Yeah? And by Pythagorean theorem, once again, you actually get that this is square root of three over two. I mean, you can just work it out. You can all do that? Yeah. Um, so the cosine, for example, of 60 degrees is, again, adjacent over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is... Oh yeah, this one is, since this whole thing was one, this side is one half. So the adjacent is one half divided by one, which of course is just one half. <laughs> Didn't have to memorize that. You had fun doing geometry. <clears throat> um, and what is then the tangent of 30 degrees? Yes, exactly. Tangent is... Notice how I'm kind of spiraling out of control here with my right. <laughs> but that's right. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is the opposite of 30 is 1 half. <coughs> and then the adjacent, uh, wait, up is square root of 3 over 2. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and then... So that's 1 over square root of 3, or square root of 3 over 2, over 3, whatever you want to call it. Good? Is that exciting? Yeah. Did anyone learn anything? Someone say yes just to make me feel better about my life. Yes. Thank you. OK.